Okay, here, look, a uh, frustration for me over many years was witnessing the policies of Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael removing the prospect of home affordability and stability from increasing numbers of Irish workers and, family. and then at, families. And then at the same time seeing representatives from those parties actually claim to be working for those in need of housing. I got them that house was a familiar refrain from a Fianna Fáil councillor or Fianna Gael TD as they approached the front door, never referencing the fact that far from a free house, those inside were actually paying rent in the direct proportion to their income. No mention that those parties were implementing policies that were outsourcing and privatising housing provision that would bring us to today's point where an entire generation is denied the security that their parents enjoyed. It was a conscious, deliberate policy to stop local authorities building and buying homes and to instead depend on private operators motivated by profit to address the housing needs of the state. Following the financial crash, rather than building public homes at a fraction of today's cost that would have stimulated the economy when it was badly needed and kept thousands of our young people working in Ireland rather than forced to emigrate, you instead rolled out the red carpet for the vultures and the cuckoos and the international speculators to wreak havoc on our communities. You now pay over a billion euro of taxpayers' money every year in subsidies to those private operators for housing people who should be paying rent to the state. All the while, Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael representatives continued to play the game of pretending they were actually helping those in need of housing. We're the party of home ownership, some of them blatantly lied. But this week, the lies are exposed. Because anyone who rejects Sinn Féin's motion to extend the eviction ban, anyone who supports the government's mealy-mouthed amendment, is voting for families and individuals in their constituencies to be made homeless. And there will be no hiding place. From 10 days from now, when a family that receives an eviction notice goes to their Fianna Fáil or Fianna Gael representative or their Green Party representative or perhaps even their independent representative to ask the question, where will we go? And when you don't have an answer for them, they will know the truth, that the dire situation they have found themselves in is down solely and squarely to your actions this week. So to all of those backbenchers who intend to vote to end the eviction ban, most of whom couldn't be bothered to attend this event, uh, debate tonight, but be aware that the generation that you have denied the prospect of a home are watching. And so are their parents. And the families who, are being, who will be made homeless because of your decision this week are watching. And they will never forget. And neither will their children or their friends or their neighbours and neither will all of those Irish people who value decency and compassion and fairness. They are watching and they're waiting. They're waiting for the chance to respond to those who are willing to make people homeless by kicking them out of this chamber as soon as that chance arises. arises. There is a chance. There is a chance for Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael and Green Party and independent representatives to take a stand for those people who are on the face of being kicked out of their home with nowhere else to go. But that chance is this week and this week alone because it will be forever recorded in the transcripts of this House for those who decide to stand on the, on the behest of the government and force people out of their homes. Yeah.